Hey, Kibros, what do you say? What do you know? This is Keith Piazza coming right at ya. Hey, um, big hello to all you YouTubers, and big hello to all my fellow Kibros on Facebook keyboard group, Keyboard Talk. All right, and if you're not on Keyboard Talk, get on it. And uh, so, hey, today's video is called The Great Switch Up. All right. Um, what I normally use in my keyboard rig, I use two Chrome EXs and I use a Studio Logic Numa Compact 2X. Long name. But, um, here's a quick little story for you. Somehow, I lost a week. I thought that my band was playing this weekend, so I tore all my equipment down and brought it all the way out to the garage. And turned out that I'm not playing until next weekend. So, but there was some other work I needed to do. So, I grabbed two of the keyboards and brought them back in into the cave, all right, because something came up. And, uh, and what has come up was I got a friend, his name is Dan, and he plays in a band called Six Gun Sally. Now, he was originally using three keyboards. They cut him down to two. So, he... I is now using a uh, Nord Stage 3 for piano and other stuff. And, and I uh, Roland VR09. All right. Now, um, he needs more out of that keyboard. He needs more out of that keyboard than what it can do. And then uh, not too long ago, Danny was here. And he happened to... Uh, um, I was doing some work on a pedal for him, and, uh, wait, I hit the wrong button here. I'll give you an example, and, uh, so he, I was doing some work for him. Anyway, these, I had my three keyboards set up here, and he happened to walk up, and, and he was playing, and that was set for the organ, and he was like, wow! <laughs> And he really loved the way the organ sounded on this. Well, I told him, I says, well, I wrote the program and, it, and I retweaked the Leslie and everything on that. And uh, so he, he goes, I think this organ sounds better than my VR09. All right. So anyway, that was that. And uh, so that was like, like a month ago. All right, so I'm kicking back. I'm watching TV, and uh, Danny calls me, and he goes, Hey, man, I was thinking, um, would you be interested in a trade? This is a trade. He goes, Yeah. And, uh, and uh, well, one thing, the VR09, I've always been a big uh, advocate uh, for that keyboard because I uh, I had a VR760 that I used like I don't know like a decade or longer and uh, so I'm I was really in love with it the only drawback on the damn thing it was so heavy it, was, it got heavy because I got health problems so uh, I like the lighter stuff now so um, I ended up selling that um, uh, that keyboard so but anyway uh, those VRs are fantastic keyboards. And uh, also, um, two years ago, Danny and I went up to uh, pianos and stuff, and we bought a whole shitload of stuff. I mean, I have a Kia Sportage, and we filled that up, you know, because I bought, I, uh, I bought one, I bought two keyboards, a, um, I bought the two Chromes, I bought a Yamaha mixer, and I bought a Mackie keyboard cabinet, a power cabinet, uh, speaker cabinet, the, uh, what is that, the Mackie Thump, and um, and a bunch of pedals, a bunch of stuff. Danny bought, uh, he bought a, uh, a Cork Chrome 88, um, VR09, 
and uh, a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, we had the Kia filled up. So anyway, and uh, but uh, so all the equipment uh, is all the same age. I'm I'm digressing here, but anyway, um, and then I also built Danny a custom Leslie, and uh, I went went up to about five of his rehearsals, and I set that Leslie up for him and fine tuned everything and everything. So I. And I always liked that VRO. And I remember a couple of times I even unpacked it for him and I had it on my lap. And I'm going, hey, you're just a pretty little baby and everything. I talked to my keyboards. I know I have a problem. But um, I always liked that one. And uh, so Danny goes, I'll trade you the VRO9 for your Chrome 61. And I'm thinking my Chrome 61. I says, man, that's got everything that the that my band uses. I mean, all your crazy sounds, your, your your horn sections, your flutes, your all the sounds besides organ and piano is in the 61. Then I'm thinking, like, well, wait a minute, I just stick a card in it, save it to the card, and stick it in the 73, now the 73 becomes a 61, no big deal. So after a couple of seconds here, I thought about it, and I says, um, yeah, I'll make the trade. And uh, so, um, I um, I'm trading Danny my 61 uh, for the VR09. All right, so that, that's going to be really cool. And so what it's going to be is now the 73 is now has all the sounds from the 61 in it, and then I also saved everything on the 73 because this is where all the organs I wrote for it are on. And what I did was I transferred these all up. Um, into this keyboard. So I think this would be bank F and I think O2. So it's got all the organ stuff. And plus, I'm giving him all the stuff that. Um, I wrote for my band. I got some killer clap stuff in there. Awesome brass section, um, which would be on bank E. So he's getting all that. So it's going to be a cool switch up. And, uh, you know, um, so I'm going to, I'm not going to have all the capabilities that the 61 was giving me, but I still have it in this one, but I, I'm giving up the fact of having two monsters, you know, but that, that VR09 is going to be pretty cool because I'm not really using, I wasn't really using this second Chrome. Uh, it was mainly an organ. I think 90% of the sounds I use is all organ stuff. All right. And some of the splits I were using, like, um, okay, I like, hold on, I'm coming. I do an organ solo. All right, so I still have the lead organ. Then I, I use like a left hand uh, brass. So it was like... I should be able to get these splits out of the VR09. So I think it's going to be a really cool thing because, you know, I am a B3 guy. Um, here's my baby. You know, nice 1962 B3. You know, so I love the draw bars, man. Got to have the draw bars. And um, so it's going to be really cool. Uh, so now it might look really weird because. I don't think the, uh, um, I think the VR09 is going to be about the same width. 
So, but it's going to be the 73 here, the VR09 here, and the Studio Logic here. You know, but also, I do shift my keyboards around, you know. Uh, they're never, like, straight with each other because I try to keep um, everything in line with my hands and everything. So, should be a pretty cool rig. And also, um, sometimes I bring out the fourth keyboard, which is my Gaia. And uh, so, should make a pretty cool looking rig. But now, instead of having the two chromes, I'm going to have one chrome, the VR09 and the Studio Logic and an occasional Gaia. So, that's going to be pretty cool. Um, plus, um, all the other stuff that's going on. So, um, stay tuned for um, the, I'm going to be doing an out-of-box demo on the VR09 too. And, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to write a lot of splits. Oh yeah, yeah, because uh, this today Sunday, Monday, Danny's bringing down the VR09. So what we got to do is we got to take the sounds that Danny has in the VR09, and we got to write those on the 61. All right, and then um, so uh, so we got to come up with and plus a couple other sounds he needs. All right, so. We got that going on Monday. Then also, I got to take the sounds out of here that I was using um, for the, and the splits and stuff, and I got to write those on the VR09. And we got to get this all done because we are both playing this coming weekend. So a lot of keyboard work uh, coming up. But after I get all of the transfers done, and uh, so, you know, one thing that was kind of messed up is when I went to transfer all my main sounds out of this keyboard and put them in here, um, this keyboard didn't... Uh, it came out where the 61 only played 61 notes on the 73. So I had to go inside the 73 and extend the uh, the play area. All right, so I had to do that on like all those sounds. But luckily, there was only like maybe... I don't know, 22 sounds. All right, so there wasn't that many I had to do that on. So, But that was a little pain in the ass, and it was tricky because some of them, now that I had an extra octave, I had to bring, I had to, uh, they were playing were like too low. So I had to bring that particular left-hand sound up an octave. And, uh, and some, of, some of them that played high, I had to drop them down an octave. So it was pretty crazy, but... Hey, that's what we do. We're keyboard players, right? We we enter the crazy world. So, but um, I will be doing um, some videos. So expect a lot of videos on the VR09. So it's gonna be really cool. Um, I always wanted to get one of those, but you know, when I ended up with the two chromes and stuff, I was happy. And uh, a little, you know, I'm kind of thinking like, well. Yeah, it'd be nice to have the VR09, but I, I do love having both crumbs. But it, it's it's actually really overkill. I mean, if you look over here, um, let me here, let me get my thing. You know, I have my my favorite keyboard, my Triton, my uh, 76 Triton Studio. Then I also have a Rollins Pam up there. You know, what I mean, so I got I got a ton of workstations, but. You know, the cool thing is, is that um, Danny don't have, he has a lot of keyboards, but none of the keyboards he has are workstations. So I, I think uh, um, he's going to have a blast with the 61, and because it's a beautiful, awesome workstation. That's one thing, thing cool about Cork. Um, I think from the Trinity to the Triton, from the Triton to the M3, from the M3 to the Cronus, from the Cronus to the Chromes to the Nautilus and all that stuff, the sequencing is all the same. So if you know how to sequence on one keyboard, you'll learn how to do it on all the other ones. It's just the newer the keyboard, the more other stuff that comes along with it. So it's good. I think he's going to have a blast. Plus, making sounds and everything is so easy. So, well, guys, I shot my mouth off and um, catch you guys later. Um, keep up the good work on Keyboard Talk. YouTubers, if you're not on Keyboard Talk, 
It's a really cool keyboard. It's a private group on Facebook. It's called Keyboard Talk. Um, get up there. You're gonna. Um, my moderators do a great job. Um, they'll ask you a couple questions just to make sure you're a keyboard player, and uh, then uh, it's real pretty easy to get in. And uh, two rules: um, be kind, courteous. You know, um, no politics. All we want to do is talk about keyboards. You know, there's no crap in the world. You know, you could go on other pages talk about that. Just keyboards. Okay, guys. God bless. Catch y'all later.